there's a tradition in, in, in the Nordic countries, isn't there, for lots of fiddles That's all right, playing yeah. together. Are you sort of heading in that direction in any experiment? No, it's just not enough sense to <laughs> stick with one or two. <laughs> he won't allow us to bring any more flute players in. Yeah, so. ah, <laughs> no, it's no, I could do with the support, I can tell you. <laughs> um, no, um, well, uh, I don't know. It's just happened. Like our, The band has evolved largely through friendships and people we've played in session beforehand, like Paul and Maria. And myself were playing for a long time before, you know, when, when he moved into the band, it was it seemed it's to be natural, natural. Mm. you know, with Kieran Turish, we met him several times and, and it, it, you know, it, he, he has a great um, natural talent for improvisation and stuff like that. There is a strict structure to the tune, but the master musicians are ones that are able to get away from that structure, um, you know, without it being too noticeable. You it's know, more in, in, it, in decoration. Yeah, and, it's um, more decoration, but there are, you know, the, the big, the big, big musicians like Willie Clancy and we'll say John Doherty and like uh, Tommy Potts, who was a great Dublin um, musician, like he was a great improviser and he, mm. he totally went against rhythm and tune. He actually brought in, it was like an orchestra, like what he was doing, you know, mm. but he's like, uh, there's so so many kind mm. of th but things it's, you it's, can do. But it's not as, as, as blatant as, shall we say, in Indian music where oh, a raga no. can go on for an hour and the, and the player will just play a, along just rough guidelines. Oh, no. You should hear yeah. our band on a bad night. <laughs> <laughs> you should hear our band on a good night. <laughs> <laughs> me. 